dang, there's a lot of movies out now that are the kinds of movies that Sarah and I would have gotten drinks beforehand and then had the time of our lives at. And like with 80 for Brady, I think some of the same people were in this theater, too. It's the third and final chapter in the Magic Mike series, Magic Mike's Last Dance. Or I kept thinking it was also called The Final Tease. I wonder if they couldn't decide on a subtitle, so they just made one the tagline. This one more so has the tone of the first one. It doesn't get quite as gritty or serious as that at times, but I wouldn't say it's as light and shenanigans-y as the second. I like how all three of these have fairly different tones that do make each one stand out, out, while still feeling like they're in the same universe. Here Mike is down on his luck and working as a bartender when he gets an offer from Salma Hayek, a wealthy socialite going through a divorce, to go with her to London so he can take over as director for a stage show. Somewhere early on, I was thinking this is almost the staying alive of the Magic Mike films. If staying alive was tonally more like Saturday Night Fever. And if Tony Manero was a bit older and was directing a show and was far less campy. Though there's a lap dance in this that's about as crazy as something you'd see in Showgirls. What carries it is easily the chemistry between the two stars. Both are fantastic together and play off each other incredibly well. There are supporting characters here, but the heart of it really is just about these two, and that's where it works the best. For a movie that's about dancing and putting on a show, it's actually a very quiet film, which is pretty unique to this genre. It's not perfect by any means. If you're going into this looking for an ensemble film like the other two, his friends from the others only have one cameo here where they're all video chatting together, and honestly, it does feel pretty forced into the movie. Some characters are a little bland, like Hayek's daughter, who really, I don't know if this character needed to be in it. Some of it does get formulaic, like when the ex-husband and stuffy bureaucrats want to shut the show down. That does feel like I'm watching a more serious version of something I'd see in a break-in movie, or in a 50s, let's put on a show musical. As for the big show itself that they put on at the end, the talent these dancers have is incredible, and it certainly showcases that. But here's where I wish it did get as crazy as staying alive. The show needed to be more like Satan's Alley. Here, their show has its moments, but does go on a little too long for something that could have been more memorable than it is. But because of Soderbergh's direction, the cinematography, the nice quiet moments, and definitely the chemistry and likability of Tatum and Hayek, I'll give this a very good B. There's a lot to like here. And yes, it is Valentine's Day coming up, and don't you want to get a cameo for someone? Sure, tell your significant other you love them with this face sitting in front of a bunch of popcorn buckets. Move over, Don Juan. There's a new Casanova in town. That's even better than flowers, but you should still also get flowers. Book us now at cameo.com slash thecinemasnob and hope to see you there.